Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Rello. That's R E L L O. And this is the first episode of Realism. We here. Go ahead, I'm gonna give myself a round of applause because I feel hype. I'm happy as hell. I'm happy. <laughs> it's been long overdue. You don't understand, Domo. This shit was supposed to happen ooh, a good six months ago. Yeah, I just turned that shit off all of a sudden. <laughs> Congrats, my guy. Congrats. But hey, we got DJ Domo. Y'all know. Who I got it is. DJ Domo. And what it is? How you been doing? I've been doing good. How you doing? Yo, I've been doing great. You see, I got my <laughs> own show now. You know what I'm saying? Trying to do big things. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So what's been going on since we linked up last? Because, I mean, it's it's been about six to eight months. Hmm. Damn, it's been that long? Yeah. I've been seeing you everywhere. So you know I've, what I've been I've been, doing been seeing a you. a little bit. Yeah, you've been, <laughs> you've been making some noise. I mean, shit, I saw you at the T Grizzly show. Um, where else did I see you? Anytime I go somewhere, I see you. Pretty much, anytime I go out, <laughs> if it's a fun, if it's an event or anything going like that. Yeah. But what's been going on with you? What's What's the word? I've been doing a whole lot of private parties, just staying out the way, making that easy change. <laughs> Man. I'm Just gotta, keeping that uh, train rolling. Yeah, okay. Uh, I've been doing uh, what I did last. Can we start over? Nope. <laughs> nope. I'm bad at this shit. What we do? Bro. What what what'd you do last, fam? What'd you do last? Hold on. I gotta give you a round of applause. <laughs> you earned your shit. You've done your shit. I've done my I'm proud shit. of you, fam. Yeah, I'm proud yeah. of you. Okay, okay. I just don't like to boast like that. I I'm just like that to stay off. humble. But okay, for real. Let's see. I did this um road to hotness mm. and it was like women dancing. Don't say no shit to get you in trouble. They was working out. <laughs> <laughs> don't say no shit to get you in trouble. Yeah, I, I don't did. know shit. I be doing all kind of events, like community events, birthday parties. I got another birthday party coming up this week. Uh, you got a project dropping? I got a project Ooh, dropping. Ooh, <laughs> Damo finally dropped a project. Finally. Last time... On Point Proven, mm -hmm. we talked about me dropping a project. Mm -hmm. And it was just time for me just to put my feet to work and just do it. I called you out on that shit if you didn't see. No, I'm playing with you. <laughs> I ain't call you out. I 100%. I support you 1,000%. What was what was the process with that? Like, how did that all come about? I just got some artwork ready, and I just hit all the artists that I felt had some heat and that I wanted to put my name on. For and the, they didn't let you down? Nah. Because you won't even share no shit. Like, I thought <laughs> we was good. You didn't even share nothing. Like, nah, you no must track got some list, bangers. No nothing. Yeah, I'm getting some exclusive people making me some new stuff. They bringing out all type of tricks. They switching up their styles for y'all. And it's, it's going to be a treat. It's going to be some good energy on the project. Yeah, nothing but love. Nothing but love. So are you going to be playing any of those songs, you know, in, in your uh, set, anything like that? Because you got some events coming up, too. Yeah, once I download your music and I like it. It's, it's on the set. Yeah, it's, it can be in rotation. Round of applause for Domo showing love. <laughs> okay. Round of applause for Domo showing love. I'm turning that shit off. Yeah. So, okay. You recently went out of town. Recently hit up the A. What what was popping on out there? What are some of the things that you learned about the business out there? Because you still a young DJ. <laughs> you the youngest. You you practically the baby out here. Yeah. But you making those, some of the most noise. Yeah, I'm just learning from things I've been watching over the years, and I'm just taking that under my own wings and spreading my own shit. Wow. <laughs> like so, uh, out there in Atlanta. When I go out of town, I'm really, like, networking. Like, mm -hmm. I want to meet the DJ. If I'm going to the club, I'm peeping his mixes, her mm -hmm. mixes, whatever, the transitions, the type of music they listening to. And most of all, I want to get back there behind that DJ booth. That's dope. <laughs> so I can follow you on Instagram, take a picture with you, connect with you, yeah. do whatever I got to do to keep going up that ladder because I am about to, you know. You learned the game. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's all about that network. Yeah, who you know. Yeah. That it's, not, really, it's not always about the what you know, but it's yeah. all about who you know. Yeah. That's some good shit. That's some good shit. So what did Damo learn about herself out there in Georgia? 
Because, I mean, I seen you. You was out there chilling. You was looking at the trees and shit. Like, you was out there counting birds and shit. Like, you was out there enjoying life. Yeah. I just learned to live for myself. Do what's good for me. What makes me happy. And that's music. For Mm -hmm. real. And so, yeah. You've been deep into the music. Now, are we going to hear artists on the project? Like, are they going to be out of town? Or is it just locals? It's just locals. I feel like a handful of artists are like, I wouldn't say mainstream because they're not mainstream, but they mainstream Wichita artists. Like everybody know about them. Mm-hmm. Everybody know about their music. But I want to present to y'all artists that y'all may have not have heard. Is it before. unreleased music? Or it may not have been unreleased music, but just artists who have not released music in years, probably. Mm-hmm. So you probably don't even know that they rap. Mm-hmm. So you like, mm. But, yeah, I got some artists like that who got some heat. And you're going to be like, oh, okay. Man, I'm proud of you. You've been working your ass off. And now, <laughs> finally, it's like everything's coming together. You've been yeah. real patient. You know what I'm saying? You've been in the trenches. You know what I mean? Just doing what you need to do. So, yeah. man, can't, can't do nothing but be proud of you for that shit. But um, I said recently, I said earlier that you're like the baby of the DJs out here. Like I I to me you're the youngest one out here. And that's not taking away anything as far as what you're doing because like I said, you're making some of the biggest noise out here when it comes to DJs. People name DJ Damo, people name DJ Fluid, DJ Gabby G, you know what I'm saying? But your name is always in that mix regardless. Yeah. <laughs> why do you why do you think there's not any new DJs coming up because I see some little young niggas like on on YouTube just you know doing YouTube playlists and shit at parties and shit thinking it's gonna actually bring in numbers. Yeah. Like why? What, what's what's going on with the with with the DJ? Why is this like all of a sudden act like they want to be extinct out here? I don't know. I was talking to this to my homegirl too, just bringing more light to DJs and what we do. And I seem like watching TV, they they talking about DJs more. And mm-hmm. movies, they talking about DJs, DJs more. DJs are getting interviewed. Like, yeah. DJs is on TV now. Like, you you see you see their faces now. It used to be they, you know what I'm saying, behind the scenes and the rapper got all the spotlight. Yeah. But now, when an artist has a dope DJ behind them, like, it's a dope thing. Yeah, you going to know they DJ. Is it is it because everybody wants to be the rapper now? Mm. And some of y'all niggas ain't meant to rap. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. No, I think everybody. If you didn't make this, if you didn't make this mixtape, then just reevaluate your career. No, nah, no, nah, don't put it on them like that, Rilla. Don't put them on it like that. Nah, fuck that. This is one of the biggest events, so maybe next time. <laughs> no, fuck maybe that we shit. should have a launch party. Oh shit! Ooh. You up to something, Rilla? Can I host a launch party? Oh, a launch party! Can I host a launch Bringing party? the town together. Ooh, let's like, get four it. Four times got the eye. Hey, I want to chime in. <laughs> <laughs> four times the G. Hey, we have four times on the camera. Yeah. You know, shout out to you. This is you know your, your debut. It's for you. Hey. You've been doing your thing with the podcast, so now you know yeah. he's gonna be the one bringing you the the camera view of the realism. It's not a podcast. <laughs> it's a TV show. God damn it! But um. What are some of the challenges, Damo, that you faced as a female rap as a female I keep on say rapper, female <laughs> DJ. See how disrespectful it is? Like I feel like I disrespected the DJs. I don't know. The challenges. What's some shit you face? I think I know me, niggas be bullshit. Me I'm personally, not. I'm not with that like girly girl shit. So I gotta prove myself right there to dudes. The old niggas calling you baby girl and shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll be playing something for them. They get their two-step on and, you know, they leave me some tips. You know, you got to uh, do what you got to do. But that's yeah. love. But, um, yeah, I'm not with that girly girl shit. So I feel like I'm not really, I don't got that one foot up like other females who are really sexualized. Mm. I got to really prove myself and play some shit that you're going to like. Bob your head to and be like, all right, she all right. Like, yeah. and then, you know, I got to actually prove myself. That's probably the the hardest thing. I wouldn't even say the hardest because I kind of like that shit. 
But do you do you feel like it's because you intimidate these men? Mm, I feel like some because people not are only, intimidated. Not only not only will my set outperform yours, but I'll take your bitch too. <laughs> <laughs> you crazy You crazy <laughs> Give a round of applause For DJ Domo Taking your bitch This is realism Shit I can do What the fuck I want Like I said I'm turning this shit off it's I ain't realism. gonna get you In trouble <laughs> I promise It's just me and you Here bro That's it <laughs> But I'm kind of mad at you because you took away from the question because you was like, oh, you know, saying the DJs and the skirts and shit. I was like, God damn it, she stole my question. I couldn't really deep dive into it. But it's just auto it's just automatic. Like, you know the you know the you know the game. Like men don't feel like they gonna, you know, try and do what they wanna do. There's some dirty motherfuckers out here. Yeah. And some females just won't stand up for themselves. Mm. And I don't when I'm out here DJing, I don't care where I'm at. I don't really be taking no nothing from nobody. Like don't come over here trying to tell me what I'm going to play. Don't tell me that you're going to pay me this and then you trying to give me this. Don't don't like nah, don't play. Just Have you taken money for a for a boo boo record? <laughs> no, because where you knew where either you didn't know it was trash or you played it and you was like and no. 20 started burning in your pocket. Mm-mm. Like, why did I do that? Mm-mm. Because my reputation is more than that 20 right there. 100. Because I'm not about to kill the club. What about that 100 About to deal? play? No. Nah. No. Nah. Uh-uh. Two. It only depends on what you want to play. So if a nigga come up to Domo with $300 and like, yo, play my shit, Domo ain't going to play it? Yeah, I play that at the end of the night when everybody's leaving. Man, that's half leaving. the rent. When everybody leaving, I Damn, play it. I ain't say win. That's fucked up. But you ain't gonna kill my party like that just because what you want to personally hear. It might be the hottest thing out there. You might break a record. <laughs> I know Wichita's, and they like what they know the lyrics to. Hmm. Like hmm. peep that shit. They like what they know the lyrics to. Hmm. If it's some new shit, they don't know. They they bob their head to the first. 10 seconds to the beat and they like play some shit I know so you gotta transition quick sure. you might you know you might you know slide some in real quick <laughs> yeah just that, real whatever. quick like, yeah because yeah. it's been a couple times you I've I've seen you play and you play something I'm like what the fuck is that <laughs> So I, I like you know how awkward I feel like I'm in the, I'm in the club or whatever and I'm asking somebody like hey you know that you know that track Domo just played like two <laughs> songs ago I saw you I saw you reciting the words what is that song <laughs> called Asking a drunk nigga and shit, what's on your uh, playlist? And shit. That's <laughs> fucked up. But what you got? What you got coming up? Uh, like I said, I got two birthday parties this weekend. They' supposed to bring the town out. Some performances on Friday. Um, let's a see. I got. Um, I do these really cool nights called Showtime at the Apollo, and it's where uh, poets. And singers come together. They do covers That's dope. to songs. Yeah, it's a real cool vibe. Oh, that's funny as shit, too. Man, yeah. Comedians <laughs> be up in there, too, cracking jokes. It be, yeah, it's crazy. But, yeah, it be sing-alongs. It be cool. They be ordering coffee, food. It's a vibe. Coffee. Yeah, yeah. It's that, it's that type of atmosphere. Yeah, okay. there it is. Okay. Painted the whole picture. Yeah. Dim lights. Real chill. About energy. fifty people. Yeah. Pack the whole house. Young kids get to display their talent and stuff. It's so are like, you gonna be throwing off the cool. college fest? Cause you used to the coffee drinkers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The barefoots. No, I turn up for the event. You you ready for college fest? You got you got your shit together? Yeah, yeah. I Yo, stay ready. So you're a part of the pressure DJs. Pressure DJs, we applying mm-hmm. pressure. Yeah. <laughs> so what's what's how's that been? You know, treating you. What's what's been going on with that? It's been pretty cool. We just uh we all been doing our own thing, and you know that we better together than apart. It's like we a can union. all eat, yeah. So we all just that's smart. Just I wish some of these rappers up. would do that shit. <laughs> but I mean, everybody out there want to be number one. There's what? plenty of money out here. It's hella money out here. Hella money. DJ Domo's pockets Shit <laughs> You should have seen the car She pulled up in God damn 
Quit playing. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just talking shit. I can lie the, all the fuck I want. Watching me, I can man. lie like a motherfucker. Yeah, you probably got child support out here. Probably got a couple kids you don't know about. No, I'm playing. It's a I'm shame. playing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so DJ Damo, go ahead and let them know when the uh, project's dropping because we're getting out of here. All right. We moving the project to 316 because we are from the 316. So March 16th, the project City Talk will be dropping, presented by DJ Damo. Mm. Y'all know who it is mm. and what it is. The region's finest DJ. Man, I always love your energy when you come. <laughs> hey, much love. So, Hey, we, we ain't talk about that DJ versus rapper, though. You ain't asked you me that talk? question. Okay. Man. DJ versus rapper, let me know. What you think? I think it ain't no DJ versus rapper. It is DJ versus rapper, though. DJ and rapper work the reason together. Why, but the reason why I said, see, you playing me. The reason why <laughs> I even said DJ versus rapper is because I said, are people out here trying to be the rapper more so than DJs? Mm. Some of these people out here. They have a good ear. It's just they can't write it down themselves. Yeah. They can't perform it. Like, not everybody's a performer. Mm-hmm. But that doesn't mean you can't, you know, try your thing, dibble and dabble there. That's the only thing I was saying about the rappers versus the DJs, but apparently <laughs> it must be some deeper shit if you brought it back. You mentioned <laughs> No, it. I was just saying that's hey, a good name, question. Name the nigga and I'll call him out. This is realism. <laughs> Name the nigga and I'll call him out for you. I ain't beefing with nobody, okay? That take too much That's not energy. What I, heard. I ain't fucking up That's my chin. You want know me to tell you off camera or on camera? On camera, boss. No, I'm fucking with you. Ain't tell, nobody said shit. Tell me that shit. Ain't nobody said <laughs> shit. Every, every, time I, every time I see your name or I hear your name, it's all love. Yeah. Every time. I'm out here humble as a bee. You quiet as shit. Like, I ain't talking about working wise, I'm just talking about <laughs> vocally. <laughs> Yeah, I don't have to do all that talking. My work speak for itself. You just gonna let it keep going that way. That's, That's how. Got you this I don't far. want you in my personal business. I just want you to know about DJ Damo. When can we get the merch? When can I get a Damo hoodie? Man, I need to find the plug. I got the number. I just need to call him. You just ain't called him. Yeah, because I've been going through a different lady. She be she right. just be fucking with me. So right. Right. yeah. Well, keep doing what you do, fam. I'm proud of you. Yeah. Look forward to hearing the project. Also look forward to seeing you at College Fest doing what you do because that's mm-hmm. going to be a good look. Mm-hmm. And then just look forward to see what you got going the rest of the year because I know we ain't got you here in Wichita too long. <laughs> Shh. Say less. <laughs> Yo, this has been an episode of Realism. I'm not going to spell my name because you know who the fuck I am. This has been the first episode. I appreciate y'all coming through, listening to what we got to talk about. We got the great, you know, we got the region's finest DJ Damo in the building. Be on the lookout. Much love. We out. Yeah.